Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The standard toolbar contains many command options that are standard across the Microsoft Office product line, including New, Open, Save, Print, Cut, Copy and Paste, and Undo, amongst others. Now clicking on any of these buttons performs their respective function. Also notice that some buttons have small downward pointing arrows to their right sides. So for example, if I started to perform some activities. So if I typed this and then I typed something else, notice that the undo button has a little drop down to the right. If you click the drop down, you will see a sub menu of button settings. So for example, here with the undo, you'll see all the actions that you had previously done. And here you can select multiple actions to undo. Also, if you move your mouse pointer over any button and then just hold it for a few seconds, a yellow box called a screen tip will appear displaying the button's name. And so that's another way that you can become familiar with what the button's functionality is. If you right click on any toolbar, Word displays a list of all available toolbars. By default, Word displays the standard and formatting toolbars. Toolbar names that show an indented check in front of them are already selected. You can click on one that's not selected to display it, or you can right click on a shown menu and then just left click on one that is displayed to hide it. That is also the duplicate function of selecting view from the menu bar and toolbars, which also shows you the same list of toolbars. Anytime you want to turn toolbars on and off in any Microsoft program, you can always go to view and toolbars. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.